I roll, here we go. I thought I had to actually, uh, like, tap on uh, R3 or something to whistle, but I might be thinking of a different game, actually. Because it was just triangle to call the horse. So. Oh, this is going to tell us about the shrines. So the shrines, I believe, heal you. I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that they, they one should be healed. Originally, it was a save point. But the game auto saves now. So, and two right as well. There, um, there is a trophy, believe it or not, for beating this game without dying. Um, and I do not have that trophy. So if I do get to the end of the game and I haven't died, you know that I haven't, and I get the so and I get that trophy. You know I haven't tampered any, anything because it's I got the trophy. So. <laughs> Don't you worry, I, uh, I work hard to ensure that I do not die. If I die, so be it. It's not an easy game. Like, it, it has its challenge, for sure. It's really not easy. Uh, but you may have worked out the uh, the way we're going is, is down there. And don't accidentally send your horse off the cliff. It will not be good for you. I don't know if aggro can actually jump off, but you can jump off aggro and fall. And uh, believe it or not, that will kill you, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Falling from like, the thousand feet up yeah. kills you. No, no, crazy. Okay, it's not a thousand, but yeah. The, a crazy, that kind of thing can kill you? Can kill a man? No. Shut up! I was going to say shut your urethra, but that's just really weird. And will probably cause problems for any male who, like, can't open it. Anyway, um, <laughs> what can I say? This game brings out the best in me. Um, yeah, so this is, this world, oh, this, it's so gorgeous. Just, oh, this fucking game is beautiful. I love it. The Just everything you do, every place you travel, just... You don't really get a time to appreciate it with this Colossus. Um, I'll talk about it, I guess, in the next one. Hopefully, if I remember. Um, it's just about reflection, really. But I'll get to it when we get to the next one. Because it's a longer journey. But yeah, here is number two. And the, did I mention the music's fucking amazing? Because, <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, it most certainly is. Missed. Oh, you're in the way. That can't be good. <laughs> that, that can't be good at all. So yeah, the, the way you win this one is you just need to find a point where you can get its feet. There we go, gotcha. Alright. So you have given me an opening. Now there should be a point in which I can climb you. Is it that point? I feel like there's another point though. Is there not? You, yeah, it's got to be another point, because you can... I thought you could climb up there, but maybe not. There it is. On your leg. Oh, that was one of my favourite parts of the theme as well, and then it's gone because I stood on it. This theme is bloody miraculous as well, though. So, I mean, ups and downs, ups and downs. Amazing theme, but... Other amazing theme is gone, just as it gets to the amazing part, but almost sounds a little bit like Pirates of the Caribbean, kind of, but but not really, but but kind of, but not really. Uh, you may notice each time you beat a Colossus, your stamina goes up. Um, you can increase your stamina through different ways. There are basically items throughout the world. Um, I think the fruit is what increases your stamina, and a white lizard's tail will increase your health. Um, they're scattered around the world, and if you find them, good for you. If you don't, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, like you, it's just more health and stamina if you need it. I'm gonna go without just to add a little bit more of a challenge um, because it will add a bit more of a challenge, and I like the idea of adding a little bit more of a challenge on a run where I have to try and not die with all my soul. Um, there are a couple of points in the run where I'm like, yes, this could very easily kill me. 
The controls are virtually the same as the PS2 and PS3 version, um, and I have issue with the PS2 controls, but they do feel, whilst they're, I think there's um, like very, very minor tweaks, but despite the minor tweaks, I it feels better to play, and I don't know why that is. Because by all accounts, it's no different. It just feels better though, I don't know why. And I guess because I played it once already, it feels so good to play it. I'm just used to it, and it's just it's fun. It's just fun. You may have worked this out by now, but yeah, you, you can't avoid that. That that's gonna happen to you. You that it's gonna hurt. It's it's really gonna hurt. I, I hope you enjoyed it. So as I was saying, reflection. Each Colossus is huge, as you may have worked out. Um, you know, it's only like a hundred times the size of me, if not more, you know, no big deal. Um, the game... The game does a really good job of... almost freaking you out at how big they are, but keeping you on your toes, so like you you're able to keep calm despite everything. But because you're so busy trying to stay alive facing what is the biggest boss you've probably ever fought, apart from the, like, because guess what, the next one's bigger than the last. Yay. Um, like, because you're trying to stay alive, you're not really thinking about, oh, I just fought something that was a thousand times my size. Like, you're, you're just thinking, how do I, how do I survive here? That, that's at the forefront of your mind. And that's what I love most. You wander this beautiful world between each new Colossus, not really knowing where you're going if you haven't played it before. You, you have a light to guide you, but that's about it. And you're just wandering around hoping you can find it. And there's a great sense of anticipation and, and excitement and fear because you really don't know what you're going to be up against. And even some of the smaller colossi, because there are some small ones, but even the small ones, don't don't take them lightly, okay? I don't know why aggro won't move here. Um, don't take them lightly, they will end you <laughs> if you're not careful. Um, but you, because you're obviously trying to stay alive, you're not really thinking about the previous colossus, and this is a time to reflect on what you just did, and what you just saw, and the world you are exploring. And it is profoundly beautiful in a way that very few games can actually capture and this game just succeeds on every level and that is part of the reason why I love it. I explained that in my review and a lot of people were like, no, it's still just as shit as the original because controls, like, no, <laughs> no it isn't, you, you've missed the point somewhere I think. I'm assuming I'm going the right way, yes I am. Uh, I thought I was. You can't be too sure sometimes. Don't worry, that, that dome thing isn't it. That would be big. That that would be very big. I, I don't know how you would deal with that. Because that is something else, is what that is. I don't know if swimming underwater is actually faster or not. I think it is. I absolutely love how water looks now in games, though. Just... Water looks so cool. Ratchet and Clank PS4, I think, did water best. Water in that game is just stunning, but water in this game is pretty nice. It's pretty nice indeed. Just... Oh, I love games. <laughs> but yeah, it, it... Swimming underwater drains your stamina, but I'm pretty sure it's faster. Definitely faster than that, that's for sure. Because that's very, very slow. But yeah, I like how there's no music in between travelling as well. Because it doesn't need to be. It's ambience for effect. Some games can do ambience well, some not as well. Um, Breath of the Wild does ambience very well. That said, I kind of wish it had more of a soundtrack to it. But it does do ambience very well. Uh, so does actually uh, Mario Odyssey to a point. A lot of its tunes aren't always like 
oh, tip tapping away. I, I want to like, I want to, like, I want to sing this and hum this for the rest of eternity. It's very much a subtle soundtrack for the most part. And then there's Jump Up Superstar, and it's very unsubtle. Um, but no, it's it, it. This this game does atmosphere very well. It doesn't even have like like a hint of audio. It's just no, just sound effects. That's all you need. You don't need anything more. And it's right, you don't. Well, here it is. Do you know what it is yet? You will soon. Yes, it's pretty large. You may have noticed. Hello! Hi! This is one of the colossi that could kill me. If it hits me, it will almost... I don't know if it kills me in one hit. I guess it depends on how big the impact is. It, it'll, it'll get close. Oh god! Am I dead? I might be dead. If not, I'm close to death. Health. 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 What's my health like? What's the health situation? Health. Show me my health. Health. I honestly don't know what to do here. Because if you hit me, I'm going to die. I saw my health go into red, so that's why I'm worried. Because I feel like I've taken too much of a hit here. Yeah, you just try it, mate. Go. Do it. Come on. Come on. Hit me. With your rhythm stick. Hit me. Do you know I'm here or something? Do, do you not realize what you're dealing with? You're dealing with something mighty and powerful. Try me. Come on. Try it. God damn it, just... Just hit me. Oh, there we go. Run, 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 run. Run! Okay, go. I think we're good. I think we're good. Just need to be a little bit faster to get up onto your arm. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, that's... Oh, that's lucky. The game is very forgiving in war. <laughs> the game is very forgiving in, in certain ways, like, like this. You will grab onto a lot of things you probably shouldn't be able to. But don't worry about that, because I'm alive right now. That's what we're gonna take from this. Okay, good. Okay, this is good. This is very good. At this point, I should also say thank you to Sony for providing me a copy of this game. They really didn't have to, and they did, and I really appreciate it, because Sony is an absolute boss, and I fucking love PlayStation, and also Spyro Trilogy is coming soon, and just- Oh, Sony's doing so good right now! <laughs> like, Sony did nothing wrong last year. They just did everything perfectly, and I'm gonna fall again. But yeah, no, Sony is just doing fantastically in the moment. And you know what? So are Nintendo. And that really pleases me. Because Sony and Nintendo have always had a ri rivalry. But in a way that spurs each other to do better. And with them each on top of their game, it is only going to bring us the absolute best that we could ever get. Like, truly. They are going to provide us with some astonishing things. Right, now you stab the brain, and then you, you hit the pinky, and then you hit the Larry. That's a very, very specific reference. 
Like, the first reference isn't that obscure, but the Larry part is. That's why it might throw people off. Like, it only helps if you know what series I'm referring to, and you've also watched one specific episode that isn't even that popular from the series. <laughs> the only way you're going to know what I'm talking about and what I'm referencing. So good luck with that. Um, go! In the brain. Okay, so that's all of that one. Uh, believe it or not, it has one more hit point. And I'm going to try and find it as quickly as possible. Oh no, I'm falling. Oh no, I fell. It's almost like this was done on purpose. It's almost exactly like that. Because now we're going to stab the belly button. The belly button is the source of its power. Destroy it. Destroy it now. I don't think I've ever tried to jump off here. Um, once I'm being chased by the the black vines of death. So I'm going to try that. Oh, we're so close. One more. We got this. There it is. We nailed it. Sometimes you get to see yourself, like, fall off the colossi- There, there I am! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I've never seen it kill me post-Colossus death. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Well, I'm not going to be jumping off today, am I? No siree. I'm sure it's possible. It's just I'm not going to be doing it. Tis a pity.